It's like I'm wrapped up in the 60s, smoking weed with big pity. Sadini never stop. This nigga from the Dean, I really fuck the shit. He never second lift the greedy or the steely. Matter of fact, that's a blind, and you can come with me. Cause if freedom got the price, I'd rather steal it. Raw dealy, cap, feel it, spit it down the sun, I roll it up and steal it. Bottle and steal it, crack the neck, let's trade, kill it. Yeah, the life is not a knife until the flesh gets to feel it. Education, the art of war, peace, manipulation. Snake came with the moves, watch it work the plantation. I float like Haitians, lacerations and abrasions to frustrated warriors who can't remain patient. Should've fucked it when you stuck it, but you made love to it. Should've pimped it, but you sipped it when you gave love to it. But I keep love to it as a beat. Cause the salmon broken necks and head cracks while the panties keep coming. So on your knees, take them, tease them, verbal wannabes. I make moves like the bass, like lower extremities. These lyrical Pharisees, that they didn't compare me when the screw becomes a death that feeds on your short legacy. With fluid flows, my liquid telepathy asphyxiates every thought to create mental jeopardy. Choose your words carefully, avoid the free line you design with my verbal hysterectomy and no running or hiding. But it's like, yeah, what got me even with that, then they be beating the bitch's ass. Mm -hmm. And you go to take her out, she got a black eye and a busted lip. Yeah. They don't come after you, they fuck her up. Yeah. You know, and it's like, yeah, I met a girl like that at the running store. She was bad, bad but bruh. Yeah. Her dad was not having that yeah. shit. And I was like, I wasn't even the one like flirting. That was her doing that to me. Right. I was like, like what the fuck you come to America for, bro? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, that's like, I, I think. The biggest melting pot. That's the stupidest thing in the world to think that you're going to come from another culture to America mm -hmm. and think you're going to hold the standards of your culture. You've lost your fucking mind. They try. You came over here to not be where you were mm -hmm. and not hold the standards of your culture. Exactly. You're not going to come over here thinking you're going to hold that standard down and and somebody not going to... No. Like, no, sir. Nah. These niggas waiting. Seeing the plane roll up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> when that bitch get off the plane. <laughs> oh, man. That's all. I'm going to put my dick in it. <laughs> she's getting off the plane. She like, it's about that time. Bruh, most, most of she going through school, most of the girlfriends I had had green cards. Oh, well, yeah, over here. Yeah, so I mean, and that, that, was, the, that was the fascination. Mm. You didn't really fuck nobody that was from the same block you was from. Yeah, you like, eh. it's, it's, no, it's no sugar in that. <laughs> I trust you. You know what I mean? I'm like, where's the sweetness? I want something different. I want, I want uh, the sweetness. Like, me and my boys, like, you know, after, like, football or whatever sports we were playing, we would always drive up to North Jersey because uh -huh. we had our driver's license, take New Jersey Turnpike, I-95, uh -huh. and North Jersey or in New York and get those girls because it was more diverse. North Jersey, like... Okay, when I went to New York, I went to uh, uh, the Liberty Park. Okay. It's like that park that's right there on the edge. Right where the, the World Trade Center yeah, was. World Trade Center, yeah. And then you see you can see the Statue of Liberty mm -hmm. and you can see uh Jersey the, the pier. Yeah, Jersey City or Hoboken. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, the, the pier. Is that North Jersey? Yeah, I don't North, I don't know. North North Jersey, yeah. like North Jersey is basically the certain area of North Jersey, correction. It's basically like people would call it like West New York. They uh, consider Hoboken like West New York. Uh Jersey and that's City. like a that's a little bit more more north. Is but. that like a money spot like like Pasadena or Glendale? No, no, no. Or is it more like you gotta go past the hood, shipping like, crates and all that shit? Yeah, because that's normally where most of the shipping crates are at. Okay. Staten Island and like most mm -hmm. of Jersey, and it's like shipping crates and warehouses are over there. So a lot of sh illegal street racing shit like that's over there, mm -hmm. and then it's like the hood. And then past the hood, more on like Pennsylvania side, mm -hmm. is where the house is and shit. Or I mean, big oh. ass houses. So people that live in New York that have big companies and whatnot, most of the time they don't live in Long Island. They'll go to Jersey because they can get something way bigger for the price. And then, like, I remember we went to this one girl's house in college, and her father made logos for NSYNC. Rich as hell. Mm -hmm. Now I met someone that said, Oh, this is the wing that my grandma lives in. I was like, a wing? What the, the fuck? The wing? Yeah, I was like, what, <laughs> what is that? Yeah. And, was like, like, and it so was... She lived on an estate. Yeah, that's yeah. this shit. Yeah, I remember we had a buzz in and the gate open, and then when we were driving up, the lights were coming on while we were driving up. Wow. Yeah. 
And she was like, oh, if you could park your car in this garage. The other side of the house had a garage, too. So, like, then, then, then when we go to grandma's house. And... Yeah, basically. <laughs> and I was like, yo, that's kind of smart, you know, instead of, like, having your, like, I want, like, I, I would love to have my mom live with me, but with these L.A. prices, I got to make millions. Yes. Millions. millions. Yeah. I, they asking for millions on condos. <laughs> Bro, the, the, the building that I'm in now, the one that I work in now is 4.5 top floor. And it's like, why? Yeah. Mind it's it's completely with like why like you go downstairs and you you're like right in the middle of you know fucked up and, and, and debauchery you know what I mean yeah you know you're fifth and fucked up you feel me well I'm glad you know, it's like I, you pay all this rent and you go downstairs and motherfuckers living for free that's <laughs> but I don't but you know what that's that's what kills me about L A like people that are from here yeah. They don't think like that. Like, like, we just don't think up. Yeah. We, like, so it's like, I look at all these high-rise buildings, and I'm like, this has got to be, they're doing this for East Coast people. You know, they're doing this for the no, New York it's, t- it's, it's got to be, because, How like, downtown is looking is looking like Manhattan right Yeah, because, like, because, like, like, people from L.A., that's just, our mentality is, is a house and why. Yeah. We want land, acres, yards. You know what I mean? A flat, maybe maybe two stories, mm-hmm. but nothing extreme. Niggas ain't trying to walk up a bunch of stairs. Niggas ain't trying to do all that. Yeah. But we want a gang of yard, know. gang of land, pool, you know, shit to run all around and drive your shit all around. But not up, you know, yeah. not like 34th floor and 35th right. floor. That don't mean shit to us. Plus it's cool. And shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, nah, that's the point. I, that's the When I went to this new apartment I was looking at, because I was really trying to flex, but COVID happened. And they they were like, this is the seventeenth floor, and then out this window, you can see the Santa Monica Pier, and they was not fucking lying. Saw so Santa Monica Pier as well, bright as day. Yeah. And I said, ooh, pier. No. <laughs> I, from the Staples Center. I said, oh, okay, say less. But yeah, they wanted four thousand for that, and that wasn't even considered the penthouse. Wow. For seven hundred and. 56 square feet? The dude, the dude, um, at the other spot, uh, in uh, Century Plaza, okay. I was working at that spot. They were, I don't think the towers are done. They were, they're building them. I don't know if they're done or completely done, but they should be close to it. Mm. They want 30 million on the top floor of those towers. You can see the towers from here, but 30 million for the top floor. Yeah, I'm sure. And one cat bought two floors. Mm-hmm. So at 450, and it's putting the pool up there, and it's supposed to be the, 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 the highest pool in California, and all mm-hmm. this other shit. But it's like it makes no sense. You're you're in California. Yeah. You know, what I mean, when you could go up to fucking Mahalan and and, and and in the hills, you know, and in one of those gated communities, the houses in there are dope. I mean, stupid dope. I like Bel Air. So you know what I'm saying? I haven't I haven't been in Bel Air. Mm-hmm. I went into uh, this gated community um, off of Mahalan. Okay. We were working, um, we were house sitting. It was Vanna White's old house that you from the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, well, it was her, 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 I would think it was her property, but it was a property that she rented. Mm-hmm. Eric Guy owned it, you know what I mean? And that shit was fucking ridiculous. But it, was, it was one house on one side connected to the main house that was a bridge. And mm-hmm. The bridge went over the driveway and shit. And it had a bridge that connected to the main house. A fucking river that started off in the back, yeah. like it was a fountain that would come in the back, mm-hmm. ran through the whole fucking property, all around the edges of the property. The fucker had a had a had a um, had a bath yeah. that was on a corner that faced the pool. So like the pool was like right here, yeah. and then you had like a little the the, the cabana for the lawn and all this shit. Mm-hmm. When you walked to the corner, there was an outside shower for the pool. There was the corner of the house had a the whole corner mm-hmm. was a bath. It was like this big old huge Greek style bath what? tub that set elevated up, and it, the That's whole fire. corner you could see it on every side. So anybody that was bathing that motherfucker, you know, you could just yeah. just look right in and see him from any angle, bro. It was fire as fuck. I was like, bro, this man. I'm, I'm the house miss. was crazy. The house is out here. Crazy. I, seen, I said, okay, y'all got this. Yeah. Because y'all building houses on the 
on the mountains. Yeah. I, I call them mountains because, you know. On the hills. Yeah. <laughs> I was sitting there, I was like, this ain't no hill. Yeah. You running up this shit? Yeah, well, ain't got no service. <laughs> like, like Pasadena and, and, and Altadena. Altadena, where I stayed in, where I'm born and raised in Altadena, is 1,100. Okay. 1,100 feet. Pasadena, where I'm at now, Pasadena was like right down the hill, like a mile away. But it's down the hill. No, so it's like maybe 700. Well, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's the mountains. It's pretty uh, much the mountains. Cause, because we're just, it's just developed. Mm -hmm. But like, you get to a certain point where, you know, you get up to the top of Lake or Cabo State, and you, then it, it just cuts off. Now you're just going up in the dirt and into the rocks and into the mountains. Right. And all the bears and all the other motherfuckers. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty high up there. But it's all like like I said, that whole area, everything in LA, Greater LA, it's all wide. Mm -hmm. So we all sit up, we're sitting on the hills, and you see all these houses, and the only buildings you see are downtown LA, and like, and most of those buildings when I was a kid, those were all business banks, and, yeah. You know, it was all business shit. It wasn't residential like that. Right. Then now it's like, bro. And they didn't, that's why we moved the studios down here. Because we saw the growth that was happening. Oh, they're getting ready to put another one, like in the building that I'm at. They're getting ready to put another one, uh, uh, another high rise up on, uh, was it, I don't think it's, it's either Hill. No, it's Hope. Hope and fucking Ninth. That's it. And it's like, that's, that's like four buildings there. Mm -hmm. You got the one across the street, the one up the street, you know what I'm saying? The one I'm in. Right. There's, there's another one across the street on that on the on the on the on the on the opposite corner on Ninth and Broadway. Then there's another one across the street on the other opposite side of Ninth and Broadway. And then there's another one like on all four corners is these high rise, and they're all like fucking five thousand, six thousand dollars a fucking month. To this day, I'm still trying to figure out who can really afford that shit. They and, build and, 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 but and, and then live there. They live there. <laughs> like. Yay! And they still go out, Bruh! <laughs> You're like, what, Bruh, I'm sitting here like, yo, like, 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 if you guys have ever come to downtown LA and you ever go into the Skid Row area, like we're talking like from Persian Square, you know, to Spring Street on down to even where we are now. Yeah. Like you, it, the the things that you would see would boggle your mind on why somebody would want to live here. They're going to find out for Super Bowl. <laughs> Bruh. Super Bowl going to be busy here. And this it's already been popping. Heat. It's going to be in eight minutes. Hey, you know I'm working that too, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, Jair Jermaine is um, having, hosting the party. Yeah, he's supposed to be uh, he's supposed to be doing a, a day and a night. Yeah, the day and the night one. He's going to try to get all of them up. Yeah, he deserves it. He lived, yeah. he lived in, at the circuit building. He don't, he don't live far from me. Yeah? Yeah, he like, I want to say two, two three blocks. Yeah, he, he's a real quiet guy, too. But those are the ones that are... Yeah. My mom always... Like, not my mom. My fa my parents always told me, that you don't need to be the loudest in the room. No, you don't. And that's the approach I've always been to this day. Yeah, you don't. You just need to do what you got to do. I just let people think, oh, he stacked cups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did just stack cups. All right. See, he stacked cups. Oh, I think I, I think the other one over here died out. 